The Marie Kondo method, also known as the KonMari method, is a decluttering and organization approach developed by Japanese organizing consultant Marie Kondo. The method gained international popularity through Kondo's best-selling book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, and the Netflix series, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. The KonMari method is designed to help individuals declutter their homes, simplify their lives, and create a living space that sparks joy. Key Principles of the Marie Kondo Method Spark Joy The central concept of the KonMari method is to keep only those items that spark joy. When deciding whether to keep or discard an item, hold it in your hands and assess whether it brings a sense of joy or happiness. Tidying by category, not location. Instead of tidying room by room, the method organizes belongings by category. The recommended order is clothes, books, papers, miscellaneous items, kimono, and sentimental items. This helps in systematically addressing all possessions. Discarding before organizing. Before organizing, go through each category and discard items that do not spark joy. This involves expressing gratitude for their service and then letting them go. Folding and storing clothes vertically. Kondo advocates a specific folding method for clothes, where they are folded into compact rectangles and stored vertically in drawers. This method makes it easier to see all items at once. Visualizing an ideal lifestyle. Before beginning the decluttering process, visualize your ideal lifestyle and the type of living space you want to create. This vision serves as motivation and guidance throughout the process. Gratitude Express gratitude for the items you choose to keep and for those you discard. This mindful approach to decluttering fosters a positive relationship with one's belongings. Steps to declutter and organize your home using the KonMari method. Commit to tidying up. Make a commitment to declutter and organize your entire home. Set a specific time frame for each category and make the process a priority. Start with clothing. Begin the process by tackling your clothing. Gather all clothes from every corner of your home. Hold each item. Assess whether it sparks joy and discard items that no longer serve you. Move to books. Next, move on to books. Collect all books in one place, go through each one, and decide which ones spark joy. Discard those that you no longer need or want. Proceed to papers. Organize papers, including documents, bills, and other paperwork. Keep only what is necessary and essential. Discard or properly file the rest. Tackle kimono, miscellaneous items. Address miscellaneous items such as kitchenware, electronics, and other household items. Group similar items together, assess their joy-sparking qualities, and discard as needed. Finish with sentimental items. Save sentimental items for last. By this point, you will have honed your decision-making skills. Keep sentimental items that truly bring joy and consider how to organize and display them. Organize and store mindfully. Once you've completed the decluttering process for each category, organize and store items mindfully. Follow the principles of folding clothes and find storage solutions that are functional and aesthetically pleasing. Maintain a joyful living space. Regularly revisit your living space and reassess your belongings. If new items come into your home, consider whether they truly spark joy. This ongoing practice helps maintain a clutter-free and joyful living environment. Consider the flow of energy. In addition to physical clutter, the KonMari method considers the energetic flow of items. Arrange your living space in a way that promotes positive energy and a sense of calm. Share your progress. Share your progress with others, whether it's through social media, discussing with friends, or participating in online communities. Celebrate your achievements and inspire others to embark on their tidying journey. Remember that the KonMari method is a personal and individualized approach. While the specific order and techniques may be part of the method, adapting it to suit your preferences and circumstances is encouraged. The ultimate goal is to create a living space that aligns with your vision, sparks joy, 
and contributes to a more intentional and mindful lifestyle.